All right, everyone. What is up here, YouTube? Jigsaw0097. I finally got the hell out of work. Uh, just the worst day to have to work, honestly. My phone has been exploding all day with these video notifications, these uh, free agent signings. So I'm just going to warn you right now, I'm going to be bringing you like seven videos um, today. Um, this first one actually has to do with Nick Foles going to the Jaguars. I did tell you guys that I was gonna make one more Nick Foles video, and that would have been when he was officially signed to another team. It looks like he's gonna get like a four-year deal, I believe. It's worth 88 million, um, like 50 million guaranteed. You know, Nick Foles is getting paid, guys. So, you know, congrats to the Super Bowl MVP. Nick Foles just keeps winning. The guy does not know how to lose. Um, just another reason why he should still be in Philadelphia, but that's beside the point. I won't get into that rant again, guys. Um, but what I really wanted to just talk about is um, how this impacts the AFC South because you've got a lot of rising teams now in there. You've got Nick Foles with the Jaguars. You've got Andrew Luck and Frank Reich with the Colts. Um, then you've got Deshaun Watson with the Texans. And you've got Marcus Mariota with the Titans. And all four of those teams are pretty decent now, guys. So um, we're going to see quite a bit of competition coming out of that division. Um, and my dad's a Colts fan, so I always kind of follow the South a little bit. Um, if I actually would say that I have a second team, which I don't really, but I would say the Colts would be the, <clears throat> the team that I would root for other than the Eagles if it came down to it. Um, but, yeah, Nick Foles going to that division. We'll just have to see, guys, um, because it is still a question mark. Nick Foles has never done anything outside of an Eagles uniform. And this is going to be a year where we get to see, you know, if getting rid of him was a mistake. Um, like, I, you already know my personal opinion. I think it was a mistake to get rid of him. But, like, I just hope that I'm wrong. I really do. I hope Carson Wentz comes out slinging. And I hope that Nick Foles just kind of... I don't hope that Nick Foles fails. I don't want to say that. But um, I basically just hope that everything works out for the Eagles. Um, regardless of what happens with the Jaguars. That That's really all I want to see. Because honestly, I just think Nick Foles will be good. We're going to see... We're going to have to wait and see what happens. But I, I really do think that he's going to be good. The Jaguars just needed a quarterback. They now have a quarterback. So we'll see what happens. I mean, they don't have to have Blake Bortles anymore. That's the biggest thing for Jaguars fans, I'm sure, um, is that they don't deal with that garbage in Jacksonville. So anyway, wanted to make that quick video, you know, and I'll just kind of end it with, you know, thank you, Nick Foles. Philadelphia loves you. You will always be welcome in any bar in Philadelphia. You know, you brought us your our first Super Bowl title, and that is nothing to be scoffed at. You know, I'm noticing that the fan base is divided these days too, which is just ridiculous. You can like Nick Foles and still like Carson Wentz, guys. That That is a thing that can happen. You don't have to pick a side. They both wore an Eagles uniform at some point. So they're both just Eagles right now. So there you go. Embrace what Nick Foles has done. You know, wish him luck on his new team as I am right now. So anyway, guys. That's the first video. I'll be shooting you some more, so stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, you're going to want to go ahead and subscribe. And to all my returning viewers, thank you for watching. Um, and this has been Jigsaw0097. I'll talk to you all later.